Hey, it's another great day in Oklahoma. We're on Route 66. We just left the beautiful town of Bristow and we're headed out to the Pew, about two miles on Route 66 here. So as we get into town, I'll tell you, this is the epitome of a wonderful, typical American small town with red brick stores lined up all along Main Street. Here we have the Little Deep Fork Creek Bridge. There's a lot of bridges on this little river here, or creek. Kind of zigzags all around. Some are old, some are new. But here we enter Depew Town Limits. Turn left onto Flynn Avenue. There you go. We're going to turn left on Flynn Avenue. Depew Historic Route 66, 1926. 1928 alignment on the original road here. Wow. In a quarter mile, arrive at Flynn Avenue. Here we go. Town of Depew. Railroad here. We've got an old building. Just great. Here we are. Look closely. You'll see little white shields painted on the road here for 1926 alignment. Here we go, right there, right there. You see that one? Route 66. We'll turn right at Main Street, which is right here. Or the gymnasium. Here we are in downtown Depew. Right there. Isn't that great? This is a great little perfect town. So I got a post office there, Cafe 66. And this road here was paved in 1925 down here at Main Street. It's beautiful. Look at that. Doors there. There's a vacant lot. It used to be something here, but beautiful little brick buildings over here. Look at that. This is gorgeous. So anyway, just for two years here, this is Route 66 till they realigned it. And this building here in the corner, it's called the Hicks Filling Station at Malley and Main Street, right there. Sometimes it's called the Old Gimmel Gas Station or Gimmel's Auto Parts. Wow, this is pretty much the whole town. Just wonderful. Great community here. We've got our water tower. For Depew, here we have a little sign on the side of the building. This guy here, it's called the Hicks Filling Station at Mally and Main Street. Sometimes it's called the Gimmel Gas Station or Gimmel's Auto Parts. Built and owned by Mr. Hicks right around 1920. So it predates Route 66. Before the station was built, it was a grocery and B&S store, right in this corner. It's got a great residential feel, almost looks like a house. These stucco walls facing the corner. That little narrow canopy up there. Low pitched gabled roof. Tapered columns, isn't it great? You just drive your car right up here. Pump your gas. There's two uh, Pearl Islands here, you see right in front. Should have a little ghost sign on here. I believe on the other side. Because it faded away. It used to say, drive in. I don't see it. You know, the roll up doors here are new. It's amazing. A little gas station here. From 1920. Looks like somebody's house. Anyway, let's see inside. It's like a little museum today. Isn't that gorgeous? This is our little town of Depew, Oklahoma. Across the street too. We have an old gas station. Yeah, this is a old Texaco. Man. Little canopy up there. Old Pump Island. 
I love this town. We've got Route 66 right here, 1926, just for two years though. Well, there you go. That's our little small town of Depew, Oklahoma. Route 66 ended right here, 1926 to the right. We head up on Lead Street towards the new Route 66 alignment. And up here on the right was an old gas station called the Mayberry Garage and Gas Station. Probably up here by the PDQ, owned by Delbert Mayberry, built in 1951. He kept it open until 1971, then his wife Nadine died when her car was struck right here at the train tracks, I'm told, so that's sad. Anyway, his old gas station was probably right about here where the PDQ is today. And there you go, that's our little town of Depew. They were headed out to the town of Stroud along Route 66. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.